Well, today we're setting up a smart doorbell. Welcome back to GeekSmart and another video install for you and this on the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. Um, this is a hardwired installation so we are wiring this thing up. I do have a current doorbell where it's going so basically the wires are already in place. Um, so I thought what we do is we'll bring it in, we'll take out everything out of the box, we'll see what it all comes with and then we'll get into actually installing it. So let's get right into it. Okay so here's the box. I've already cut the seal right here, actually, but I didn't even have to cut it. There's actually a, a pull part. So um, just slides out of there. So there's that. And then we actually have the, the box itself, which we'll pull open. We have, looks like installation materials there. So our books to how to do things, plastic case there. We actually have the actual video, the doorbell itself. Um, only connect terminals to wiring doorbell 16 to 24 volts. So we'll probably want to double check that to make sure because I do have an older system. Um, three different colors. So if you don't want silver, we have black, um, kind of like an almond, uh, brown, almost copper color, like a oil rub bronze color almost. And then, yeah, so uh, right back here. Looks like some mounts um, for a flat surface or an angled surface. Um, so if you wanted to aim towards it, you do have that. So a couple of those. All right. We have a little information on lighting, I guess, as you're installing. Or not lighting, but the lights that are actually on the doorbell. Anything? Nope, I'm looking underneath. Okay. And then installation tools. Okay, let's see what's in here. Pa, pa, pa. All right, so they actually have a handle, and look at that, drill bit, an actual screwdriver. It actually give you a ring screwdriver with a big and a Torx, looks like a security bit. Uh, so it must be some security shoes, the screws that go in here. There are some fasteners, um, looks like a plug-in to wire type item. This is the Power, the Pro Power Kit. Um, so there's that. And uh, I'll have to look into how that goes. So, I'm gonna look into that as well. I do have some more wires with a couple of wire nuts there as well. So that's all the goodies that it comes with, which we're obviously gonna use to install. So uh, let me put together a plan and we'll get to going. I just realized we didn't even open up the instruction book item here. So we have book, we have uh, for downloading the app. Got some stuff there. Oh, protected by ring sticker for your door if you'd like. Um, looks like we have a trim kit. What's this here? Optional retrofit kit. Prime and paint the retrofit kit before installing it. So this is optional depending on your setup. They do give you that as well, and it is paintable. So, all right. So that's everything it comes with. So the first step is to find. We're, we have to power down the whole doorbell system. We have to get power away from it. Um, I know where my doorbell stuff is. Usually you, you're going to have a, a breaker at your breaker box. That is actually the, tran the transformer, I guess, for my doorbell that brings it to 16 volt. It actually says 16 volt on the side of it, so that made it real easy. Real tight, but I used my phone in there to fi find what the voltage was. And I know that my doorbell is number 11. Uh, it used to actually be my furnace. Uh, it was tied in with the furnace, so thankfully when they put my new furnace in, doorbells by itself now so i can actually kill it without killing anything else in the house so it's actually not the furnace anymore but it is the doorbell so i'm gonna go ahead and kick off the doorbell it's always handy to double check with a power meter or something up at the actual doorbell itself to make sure that where you're we're about to play, play around with that there's not 16 volts of power or whatever voltage yours is so let's head upstairs to the doorbell and we're going to actually in uh put in that that power little guy well, I haven't played around with my doorbell ever, so it's the one that was in the house, and all right, pops off. Come on. 
Let's not do that. All right, so there's the leads coming in, nice and dusty. We, if you, you have a tester like this, uh, let's see if, oh, maybe my battery's dead. Well, I already tested it um, from the doorbell, I actually clicked on the doorbell, um, but I would probably want to use a, uh, just a power meter real quick to double check the voltages and everything, or get another battery in my, my reader. Maybe I'll do that real quick. Okay, so I got my tester here. Now she's coming down, all right. We got a 12 volt mold, and I'm not even picking up 12 volt here, so we're good to go. Um, this is where we're gonna, basically what we're gonna do, I think, I'm gonna connect it first, then I'm probably just gonna stick this guy right up here, because that's probably a good spot for it. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit though, real quick. Uh, so give me just one second. Okay, so on the doorbell, here, there, there are actually uh, three terminals. One says front, one says trans or transformer, and the other says rear. What we need to do is we need to hook these two leads here. Pop that guy off there, geez. One to the front and one to the transformer. And so I don't think it matters which one you go to where. Uh, it just bridges the gap between them. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up one at a time. Just going to pop it on there. That way it holds onto it. Then I'm going to loosen up the transformer one, pop on the other lead to that guy. And so that's what we're going to look like. And now um, we're just going to basically adhere this. There's a little sticky guy right here. I'm just going to stick him right there. Just like that. That is as simple as it is. Um, just between those two, that's just going to make sure we get the right power. And now I can put this stupid cover back on. There we go. I'll clean that better later. That needs some cleaning. All right, sorry about that. I don't know how well you saw that, but here we go. We're all done here. Now we're gonna go to the actual doorbell itself. So here we are at the front, we're gonna actually remove this. Now, I did show you these wedges before and I said, you know, one was angled and one is flat. Well, actually one's angled the other way. So basically you can get it if, if you're uh, coming upstairs, essentially upstairs towards it, you can aim the video doorbell down. I guess it would work the same way if you were coming downstairs, you could aim it up. So options with these wedges. In my case, I'm not gonna use either to start, but if I ever need to, I can do this, and, uh, and that way mount it up. This is kinda at uh, abdomen level. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes rope mounting it flat. Um, and I can give you an actual measurement from where I'm standing to this, so I can give you that here in a second. But we're gonna go ahead and remove the doorbell real quick. Please. I get a different screwdriver to get that off. Because all this does, and, and it doesn't matter which one's which, because it's just completing the circuit is all it's doing. All right, I'm gonna, yay, that's an oldie. All right, I'm gonna clean that up a minute, and we're gonna get the other one ready. So the ring here doorbell is gonna kind of go like that. I'm gonna try to get it as high as I can, but first we're gonna pop this cover off. There we go. That gets us to the mounting holes that we're gonna use, because uh, essentially it's you know it's just gonna. I'm going to have it basically like that, essentially against that rounded edge there. You know, I'd like to keep it out as much as possible. Maybe the wedge anchor might not be a bad idea for me because of my brick, because it's just going to kind of blacken it and go into the brick. But I'm going to try mounting it flat first. I can always come back and do the wedge anchor later. And on the back here, you can see where the terminals go, right? Right, right there. After wiring your device, it may take a few minutes for it to power on. That's fine. All right, well, I'm gonna take those stickers off real quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is basically where those are gonna come in, and that's, boy, those are gonna be tight, aren't they? So, we're gonna be right about there, and that means I'm gonna be mounting right about there, right there. Trying to make a, a mark with the screw. You can kind of see it there. And see that there. So that's where my screws are going to go. Um, kind of straight back. So basically, right along the edge of that is where I'm going to drill. I'm going to put a couple pilot holes in real quick with my drill. So I'm using a 3 32nd inch, uh, inch bit, is what I'm using. Okay, so I got my pilot holes drilled. Okay, so I'm going to leave the protective cover in, until last because if I hit the, against the brick, I'm just going to be mad. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen up these terminal screws here because that's where these wires are going to go. 
And I'm going to be pretty tight here, so maybe I'm going to change the camera angle because I'm going to... It's tight. I don't really have any extra wire. All right, here we go. Let's, let's give her a go. It's going to be a tight one, that's for sure, so it's going to be probably hard for you to see. I'll show you definitely at the end, no doubt. Where's my pliers at? Can't find my needle nose, so this will work. So you can see right there, we're all wired up. I got a couple screws. And so this is where that wedge anchor, I, I may actually end up adding it, we'll see. Don't want to go too tight, this is plastic, right? So, you know, get it snug, but then stop, don't get too crazy. This is not too tight down here. Right about there, we're good. Okay, we are put in place. Now we can uh, take the film off, put the cover on. So I'm gonna take it off now before I put the cover on, at least on these two, and then I'll put the cover on. And then take the camera cover off, or actually the bell, I guess, that's the doorbell. Jeez, camera right there, dummy. All right. We are fully set here. Now, let's go down and kick the power back on. So just like before, we're gonna look for doorbell. It's number 11, number nine, number 11 right there. We obviously the only one off. Kick her back on. Let's go upstairs and see what we got. Well, I heard it. Yep, there we go, it's powering up. I could hear it talking to me. So, we have to get the app out to do the rest of the setup. And just so you're aware, from the actual uh, concrete to that I'm standing on to the center of the camera is about 45 inches. So that's where it's mounted at. Uh, so we'll get, get a, a feel of what it, what it looks like. All right, I'm trying to find a quieter place that I can do this. Uh, I'm only 20, 30 feet from my front door. So uh, Ring always hope that's the the app we're gonna oh, we're gonna use. So let's open that. Ring would like to send me notifications. Sure, why not? Create an account. I'm gonna create an account real quick. I'll be right back. So it's first name, last name, continue. Country, United States, continue. I'm gonna put my email and then I have to retype that. Let me do that real quick. And hit continue there. Let's create a password. I'm gonna go ahead and create a password real quick. All right, I'll hit create an account. Saving my password, password saved. Check for your email to continue. Let me do that and it's probably got a link in the email so I'll click that. So the email says verify now, I'm gonna click on that. It's head, it probably heads back over to the Ring app after a second. Going to the Ring app site, verifying your email. You can now return to the app. Let's go ahead and go back to the app. Have an Amazon account? Now you can link it to Ring. Sure, why not? We'll link the accounts. And let me do that. So it takes us to the Amazon page to sign in. After we, we I had to put my password for my Ring back in again. Then my Amazon stuff, successful. Our accounts are now linked. Email verified. Let's go to continue location. I'm going to put in my location. I'll be right back. I'm going to hit confirm address. All right, now we're finally in the setup of actually adding the ring to it. So set up a ring device. We're gonna hit plus there. We have a doorbell. Let's click on that. Uh, that's fine, we'll access the camera. Scan the QR code or Mac ID barcode on the ring device. Let's go do that. Well, I, I knew it was a good idea for uh, me not to put, there's actually a screw that goes in here that locks the cover on. I didn't put that on yet. I figured I'll do that later. Good reason why, there's the QR code I need to scan. Ta-da, let's see, let's try, hit try again. We'll just scan the QR code quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and allow you ring to use my location while using the app. All right, I'm gonna put the cover back on for now. All right, let me, let's head over back to setup. So it says, where would you like to set it up? And you're gonna select the location that you obviously entered in for your home. Uh, it is at the front door. Before continue, turn continue, turn off power at the breaker. Oh, I've already done this. I've already installed it. Let's hit that. Uh, what type of doorbell does this have a mechanical? Is a light on the front? Yes, it is spinning. That is true. I'm going to go ahead and join the network. So it'll join the Rings network so we can actually continue setting it up. We'll give it a second there. Ring would like to find connect devices on your local network. That's fine. We hit OK. Your doorbell is there. All right. We're going to choose my Wi Fi network and I have to put in my Wi Fi password. Give me a second. All right. We'll hit continue there. Connect. Oh, I can even hear the ring talking. 
I honestly don't know what it said, but we'll give it a moment. All right, so it actually just said out there, your ring doorbell is ready to go or whatever. So fill in the blanks with Snapchat Capshot. Got it, okay. Congratulations, setup is complete. Uh, sh you sh we should. Who should have access to this ring doorbell? Let's keep it for me for now, but we can always come back and do that later. Um, I'll probably add my wife later. So skip now. Yes, skip for, for skip that for now. That's fine. Cloud recording. Let's see what it, what it offers us here. Your ring try bell is about to expire. All right. I don't know why it's about to expire if I just got it. To record and review product videos, subscribe to Ring Protect. Chat with an agent there. Yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. I'd like to see how she works first. Take control of your home. We can watch that. I'll watch that later. Are you sure if you leave, we will not be able to... You will not... Enable mode settings for your cameras. Now let's do this. I guess let's uh, let's look at mode settings. Learn more. Oh, the home and away. Whether or not you want it to be disarmed or not. Click on this. Disarm mode. Select this to move freely inside and outside of your house. Home mode. Monitor the outside of your homes while you're while you move freely and privately indoors. Away mode. Monitor your whole home inside and out. I don't know how you're going to monitor the inside if I just have a doorbell camera, but that's all right. Use default mode settings. That's fine. We can always change that later anyway, so. Success. Look at that. Ring and doorbell change to away mode. Tap snooze icon to temporarily disable motion alerts for the cameras. And let's see what we, what we look at like here. Is currently updating internal software. So we're going to have to give it a few minutes while it does, I guess, a, a software update. We'll give it a minute. Last item of business is actually locking this cover on uh, and there is a little security bit screw There's actually two of them that are in the bags and then of course they give you the screwdriver that does have that security bit So we're just going to go ahead and put that on there so nobody can uh, pull get into it And of course it also holds the cover on too But now that it's in place you're not going to be able to remove the cover So make sure you're done doing all your setup before you do that We are fully fully set and now let's go ahead and finish the app Okay, so we have the app here. If we actually click on the front door, it'll actually bring it up. Um, we can actually go back in time where there's me out there. Hey, there's me when I was doing the, putting the screw in. Look at that. Cool. Now, let's go ahead and do a, a live view. Oh, let's go back to there. Do a live view. And that way you can actually see what it looks like when I go up and push the doorbell. I'm going to let you just stand here and just watch my phone while I go do that. Of course, we can always hear, if we hit the, the speaker here, we can actually hear what's going on out there as well. And my dogs are making noise. All right, back down to the studio. So, um, right now it's still actually set to away. I don't know why, but we're home right now. Back to dashboard. All right, so, change to home status. Um, there is motion at my front door. All right. Um, in here, we can actually, like we saw before, you can see that. Um, set up a device, you can do all that. Ring protect, 30 days left. Woohoo! Uh, over on the menu here, we can actually see... Let's see what neighbor says. Join the neighborhood. You know what? I'll do that later. Um, we're back over here. Devices, I only have one device history. Uh, let's go to settings. Um, here we can change address. We can actually go to those modes and, and change those modes like we did it earlier. We can have the shared access in here. Or we can disable modes altogether. Um, users, if you were going to share a user. Neighborhood settings, so that just kind of goes neighborhood area, how long, how wide it is. Um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and join that, I guess, join, create, join the neighborhood. But that's where we are. Everything is fully set up. Obviously, there's gonna be more, and I'll do more in the review once we get to that point. Okay, one thing I do want to bring up in the app real quick because it's already been kind of a nuisance is how many times that the motion settings going off by even not even people, just cars driving by because you can actually see the street here. So on the front door, we're gonna hit the little button here we can actually go to settings and we can actually go to motion settings and here we can actually do people only mode only get alerts with people I'm gonna turn that on just because I get a lot of motion there we can also change the motion sensitivity if we need to or scheduling but I did want to or even motion zones I guess and uh, create a motion zone that just focuses on area but then again I'd be removing a lot of it so I'm gonna just focus on the people for now 
and not change the zone. We'll see if that works, and when I do the full review, I'll let you guys know. You know, the neatest thing about all these DIY installs and everything is you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about your house, uh, specifically with any of these setups that you're doing in a house that you didn't build, right, yourself. You're going to learn a lot about uh, about what to do. And yes, I understand that it can feel overwhelming sometimes, but in all reality, just trying to take it one step at a time. Uh, the hardest part about this is just finding, what, you know, making sure you know what uh, circuit you have to turn off for the doorbell. And... It can be a little daunting if it's not written down already, uh, but if your electrician did his job right, you should easily be able to find it. Um, so, that said, guys, um, uh, I'm kind of thankful I didn't need to use any of those wedges. I think it actually worked really good for its setup and how uh, it's angled correctly, but they're, they're there. They do come with them in case you do need to do it. Um, the trim rings, you know, the different colors. I love that the fact that they give you those three, um, but yeah. Like I said, the full review is going to be coming here later. Um, for now, this is the full setup. It is complete. Um, I'm very uh, happy about it. Now, this is the Ring Video Doorbell Pro. The the traditional one is wider. I, I definitely needed to go to the Pro just because I didn't have a whole lot of space there. And I'd have to mount that on the brick on the outside, which would give a little bit wider viewpoint. But then I'd have to figure out how to cover my wires up. So... The Pro was nice because it's nice and sleek. It's good uh, fitting. And in this case, I didn't want a battery-operated model as well. I definitely only wanted a hardwired hard model. So pretty awesome. So I'm very, very happy with this so far. We'll see where it goes from there. We'll see how much I like it down the road. Um, but that is the setup of the Ring, uh, Ring Video Doorbell Pro. Uh, stay tuned for the, the full review. I'll put the link down below. I'll link it on the channel as well. So if you have any questions about this guy, definitely post below to the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you can for me. You can head over to techgooch.com. That's where you can actually send me a direct comment or, or a question if you don't really want to post it down below and you definitely want to get a hold of me and have a one-to-one -one conversation. That's where you can go over that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching here to the end, guys, and we'll catch you back here on GeekSmart for another future video install. Oh, we've got more coming. We'll see you soon.